Hey there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel and this is going to be a quick tutorial today but I'm going to be showing you how to do something pretty cool and you can also use this as a prank I guess as well which makes it quite fun but um, in this video I'm going to be showing you something pretty strange as you can see here I don't have any visible armor on right now but I actually have armor defense points showing. I actually have the full effects of a full set of Neverite armor. So, in a way, I've got invisible armor on right now. I have no armor items on, but I have all of the armor, like, benefits, I suppose. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you two commands to get this to work with these two command blocks right here. And, uh... I'm also going to introduce you to some brief description on how armor actually works in the game very, very quickly before I show you the commands. So how armor works in the game is it has armor defense points or armor toughness. Now, depending on what armor you're actually wearing on how much of it, these will change, okay? But the stats I'm going to go through in this video are if you have a full set of a particular armor on. So this is the primary uh, thing that's actually added. These are technically known as player attributes in the game because they are they have the potential to update quite frequently in the game. Um, so armor defense points for full sets of armor... Uh, turtle shell gives you two, leather gives you seven, gold eleven, chainmail twelve, iron fifteen, diamond twenty, and neverite twenty. So those are all the points that you actually get. And then you have the additional secondary attribute, the armor toughness. And if you have diamonds, then it's eight and neverite, it's 12. So that is the reason why diamond and neverite armor is so much more effective because it has this additional armor toughness on top of your defense points in the game. So using this, we're going to try and add neverite armor effects to our player without having any armor on whatsoever. So we're going to be using 20 defense points and 12 armor toughness. So that's what we're going to be using with these commands right here. So I'm just going to go into creative mode so I can show you the commands more clearly. But um, these commands will be in the description of the video. And this is only for Java edition, I'm pretty sure, uh, because it's using the slash attribute command. So this attribute command allows us to essentially edit entity attributes. And um, so we're doing slash, slash attribute with my username. And then we're using Minecraft colon generic dot armor. So that is for the armor defense points. And what we're doing is we're setting the base. So the base points to 20. So that is setting the, the points that we require for the Neverite armor. Uh, the next one is going to be toughness. So again, we're using the attribute command, but this time as the attribute, we're doing Minecraft colon generic dot armor toughness, just like that. So we're setting the base points for the toughness to 12. So that is essentially giving me all of the attributes that I would get if I put a full set of uh, Neverite armor on. So the really cool thing about this is that if you have commands on a multiplayer server, for example, you could alter these if you have access to these commands and you can give yourself invisible armor that other players cannot see. So it can be quite a nice prank because obviously... You uh, your friend or the other player won't know what's actually going on when they're trying to attack you because they all think you're def like defenseless, I guess, no defense at all, but actually you have altered your attributes on your player. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video right here. I just also wanted to prove that uh, this is indeed not using an invisible resource pack or something like that, because as you can see in this inventory, there is no armor on at all in this inventory. 
but the armor points are still showing so um it's pretty pretty cool and um hopefully you have fun with this and uh hopefully this gives you some new information in terms of minecraft armor but um if you guys did enjoy the video and liked what you see then a like subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated and make sure that you hit notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos here on the channel i hope to do more minecraft tutorials soon and command blocks and stuff like that and other things uh so stay happy and healthy everyone hopefully you have a nice day and bye bye